In this video, we're going to look at how we can take data from a web page and bring it into Excel so that we can do further work with it. This is really useful if we're doing research. Maybe I find a Wikipedia page that has a table of information and I want to bring that table of information into Excel, do some sorting, do some aggregation, create some graphs, do some analysis. It's quite easy to do. Let's go have a look. To bring data from the web into Excel is quite easy to do. So you'll notice here I'm on a Wikipedia page for the periodic table. Now by looking at this Wikipedia page you'll notice that there are tables embedded in this Wikipedia page. So I've got all sorts of data in here that I might want to bring into Excel. To make this demonstration a bit more fun, I have the Wikipedia page for the list of the best selling Nintendo Switch video games. So I'm going to grab this URL instead of the periodic table and I'm going to copy the URL. Then I'm going to go into Excel and underneath Excel you'll notice that we have a data menu. Now in my case I have a number of other menus here because I put some add-ins into Excel. If you're interested in that comment down below and I can show you how we can extend Excel's capabilities. But the data menu is going to be there in just a regular installation of Excel and you'll notice that there's the get data button. I use this all the time to connect up to Azure cloud databases or to connect into different services that I might have data stored in. But one of those services could be the web. So I can actually go to a URL and I can scrape that URL or Excel can scrape that URL and pull out tables. So now what I'm going to do is just paste in the URL of my Wikipedia page that has a table of the best selling Nintendo Switch games and it's going to go and scrape that Wikipedia page and say what elements are on this page. And you'll notice that there's some um, material here that's sort of like header information but you'll notice that this is a well-named table on the Wikipedia page and this is in fact the list of the best-selling Nintendo Switch games and I'm just going to load that data directly into Excel and you'll see that it brings that data in and I'm able to do all sorts of cool things with this data inside of Excel. I can even get a little more advanced. Let me go and grab a sheet here, a new sheet, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go into my data menu, I'm going to go to the web, and I'll just grab the exact same Wikipedia page. So we'll go ahead and put in the same URL, and this time, instead of bringing the data in just as was, as is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the same table, but this time I'm going to choose to transform the data. And when I choose to transform the data, it gives me the option of cleaning up the data before I bring it into Excel. This is handy if I've got maybe a very complex table, maybe I'm going to United Nations data, UNESCO data, IMF data, or any other type of data where I might have a lot of columns that I'm not interested in. So I can actually choose columns and I can choose rows to eliminate. So let's say for example I'm connect connected to United Nations data and I want to remove uh, certain countries. I'm only interested in looking at a specific area of the world for what I'm trying to analyze within Excel. I don't have to, I can connect to the big data table but I can just pull in those rows that are of interest to me. So here let's say for example I'm not interested in the developer I can go ahead and just remove that entire column. I'm not interested in the publisher I can remove that entire column as well. So you can see I can transform the data by using my Power Query Editor in order to go through. You can combine different uh, columns together. So there's different ways to manipulate the data before you import it. So I can then save and uh, close and save that particular query. It goes and attaches to the external data and you'll notice that now when it imports it I've eliminated those two columns. So here you have my raw import where I do have those two columns and this was a pretty simple transformation where I just took out a couple of columns. It could also be that for example um, when you're collecting video games there are certain publishers that are notoriously hard to get once they've been released and so what you can do is maybe you just want to pull those publishers to look for games by your favorite video game publisher. So there you have it. That's how we can insert data into Excel from an external source, specifically a website. As you can see it's very useful to be able to bring data into Excel and I hope this video was useful for you. If it was hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this and comment down below if you want to see more data manipulation or Excel analysis videos. Thank you so much for watching, we'll see you in the next video.